it seems the Alistel army has fortified the road from here to the Sand Fortress. Considering what a ruckus we raised when we liberated the place, that's to be expected. What should we do, Lieutenant General? There's no need to worry. Everything is going as planned. We act as before. We'll attack at once and break through from the inside. It's a tactic that only you and Stock could pull off. Well, that's true enough, but the opposition will be serious this time. Do you think it'll go as well as all that? Oh, it will work. The enemy's morale has dropped significantly. They lost Scala, after all, to a supposedly lowly rebel army, knowing that must be incredibly galling for them. If we press and take out the commander at the Sand Fortress, the battle will be quickly won. I see. All right. Will I be leading? Yes. I'll leave you in charge on the ground. I'll take the opportunity to head to Cygnus. There's someone I need to see. The key figure you've been in contact with? The very same. I'll be back in a few days. I leave the operation in your capable hands. Goodness! Our military gains far exceed my expectations. I didn't think our forces would have reached the Sand Fortress when I returned from Cygnus. In any event, the Gutral warriors certainly are strong. What is this strange power they wield that allows them to so easily defeat the Alastellians? You must mean Chi. Chi is a way of interpreting life energy apart from mana. It is not used to wound one's opponent physically. Instead, it alters the flow of an opponent's life energy. We win by controlling his center. Gutral warriors are trained in the use of Chi from the moment they are old enough to grasp it. Quite profound. I'm impressed. The fighting will be over soon. I hope we can keep this up. Rosh, Stock. The Sand Fortress is close at hand. I believe we should seize this chance to invade. What do you two think? Funny. I was just consulting Stock and the others on that score as well. I say we do as discussed. Charge into the fortress and hit the commander at once. All right, let's we'll stick to the plan. We can begin our assault at your convenience. I'm good whenever. And it's up to you, Stock. We'll start the operation once you're ready. All right. We're invading the Sand Fortress. Are you ready? Good. Let's do it. They're paper tigers, men! Pour on everything you've got! Go! Show Alistair the ferocity of the Gutrals! Don't let yourselves be outdone by the humans or Gutrals! Show them a Sadros's pride! We're about to enter the Sand Fortress! Don't fall behind! You won't get away! taken that much of a hold? This is bad. The same might have happened to our brigade if we'd stayed in Alistair. Enough!
Just to leave a mark. Doctor! Too slow! This will do the trick! Good one! Finally over. <sighs> Don't worry, we're not gonna kill you. You'll be kept as prisoners of war. <sighs> and start acting like one. Tell the rest of your soldiers to stop resisting. Looks like everyone's behaving themselves. I'm glad we didn't have any needless casualties. Stop! Rush! What's wrong? My apologies. When we weren't looking, a group of our men went after the soldiers toward the plains. We must retrieve them at once! Oh, they must have gotten puffed up after the total thrashing we gave. We can still catch up. It's dangerous to pursue the enemy too doggedly. We need to bring our people back. I agree. We can catch up if we go after them now. Everyone, let's go! Elm, you and your men keep watch over the prisoners. I should head to Grand Plum. There they are. Damn them for being so reckless. I'll catch them even if I have to... Wait, stop! Ah, what's wrong? Don't get any closer! 
closer! I don't like it. Something feels real bad. Odd's right. I can sense something too. Something? What? I don't know, but it feels very dangerous. We need to get back to the fortress. But what about them? I said we need to get back. Do you want to die? What was that? We can't possibly proceed in the face of that thing. I can't believe it turned them all to sand. Friend and foe. It's insane. Now I see why the Alistel army was so weirdly obedient when it came to withdrawing from Scala. What's the matter, Ott? My grandpa told me something. Mana is in everything in the world. And stuff that loses its mana goes back to sand. To sand? So Hugo can drain the mana from people at will? What we just saw was the same as when the Cygnus army was turned to sand. Say, didn't that soldier who attacked you and Sonya at Alistal Castle turn to sand too? Man, sucking the mana right out of people and turning them to sand. That bastard Hugo's come up with one hell of a weapon. No, it's not a weapon. That's the power of Flux. It's the power of the ritual that controls mana. This seems like a good time to take a break. We could use a moment to let it all sink in. Have you had enough time to think things over? We'll be resuming the meeting soon. All right, I'll call everyone. Well, moving on. What was it you said? The power of flux? What is that? Please allow me to explain. Lieutenant General Raoul, when did you get here? Just a moment ago, but it seems I missed some sort of crisis. Yeah, that bastard Hugo pulled out this insane weapon. Or wait, what did Ott say? He used something called the power of flux. I see. So that's the secret of the phenomenon that turned the Cygnus army into sand. As for flux, this lady here would know the most about it. And she is... I apologize for not introducing myself. I am Erica, the former princess of Granorg. Princess Erica? I had sought refuge with King Garland of Cygnus after fleeing from Granorg. That is when I came into contact with Lieutenant General Raoul regarding the reclamation of my homeland. Until now, she had mainly worked behind the scenes. Once she realized an incursion into Granorg was imminent, she asked to accompany us. So that's it. Well, it's fine with me, but if she's going to come with us, she'll have to be treated the same as everyone else. I would expect as much. Since fleeing from my homeland, I have cast away my title. Don't be too hard on her. Understood. You're okay with this, right, Stock? Sure. Uh, brother? Brother? Oh, pardon me. Um... I'm... Going to get some fresh air. I wondered where you were. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Erica, there's something I want to ask you. It's about what Ott mentioned a moment ago, the power of Flux. Isn't that the power that's passed down through the royal family of Granorg? How do you know about that? Could you really be... What? Oh, no, I must have been mistaken. 
Pardon me. I'll answer your question now. As you said, the power of Flux is passed down through Granorg's royal family. But it is definitely not meant to turn people to sand. It is used to bring the unstable mana of this land back into its natural balance. Using the power of Flux to bring stability back to this land. This has been the duty of our royal family for generations. But in practice, it's now become capable of harming others. I believe they are triggering a mana breach in certain locations to turn people into sand. Incorporating the spell formula for Flux into a weapon and using it for wholesale destruction. These are rather grave ideas General Hugo is capable of. I assume the idea was actually Fennels. He's one of the finest engineering minds in the world. He's the one who created the Thaw Machine for Hugo, too. Alistel has such a man? Well, in any case, something must be done about that dreadful weapon. But if we so much as try, we'll be turned to sand as soon as we approach it. We can't even think about an attack without a way to protect ourselves from its effects. There is one way to protect oneself from it. The Royal Granorg Treasure. Ethereon, the Stone of Flux. That stone fixes mana in place, protecting the bearer from a breach. It's a must for the ritual. And if we had it, we could negate the weapon's effects. Yes, but Ethereon was last in my stepmother Protea's possession. Now that she's been executed by General Hugo... I see. Ah. Oh. There you two are. Lieutenant General Raoul, has something happened? We had a visit from one of Hugo's messengers. He's proposing an armistice. Hugo wants an armistice. That's right. They'll recognize Forja, Cygnus, and Celestia as independent nations if we back down. Now that they've annexed Granorg, he must want to get his house in order rather than fight a war. And what will our response be? I can't decide something like that on my own. That's why I came to talk to you two. If we agree to the armistice, the war will end for the time being. What do you think, Stock? an armistice, it may be wise to accept it. It would end the war at least. True. It may be better to accept this before more soldiers are wounded. Keep in mind that if we do this, the chances of getting Granor back for you drop to nil. Oh, I realize that. But perhaps that is also for the best. I see. Very well then. I'll run this by Celestia and Forja as well and get their thoughts. Please do. This armistice, it will end the war, won't it? Yeah. We'll be arriving in Granorg shortly. How are you holding up? I'll be all right. I can't find much to complain about on the eve of a peace treaty. Indeed not, Lady Erica. Celestia and Forgia agreed to the armistice because they too trust in us. Yes. It must happen, come what may. By the way, was it wise to leave him behind? Do you mean Stock? Well, we brought Rosh with us, so he's the only one left who can watch over the troops. No one else could keep the soldiers in line with all the hoopla over the armistice. The men trust him. That's why we need to make sure to do our part in the signing ceremony for the armistice. Yes. Hey, what is it? Are you okay? What the? Hugo, this was his plan all along. Lieutenant General! Everyone, run! It's not safe to remain here! Go! Princess, that means you too! Run and don't stop! All right! Hey, you! Don't just stand there! Ugh, that bastard, Hugo! Uh-oh. Damn. Are we gonna make it?
You've returned, Stark. Your decision led to Rosh, Raoul, and Erika being turned to sand. Hugo is not a man to place your faith in. As we suspected, you will need the Ethereon to stand a chance against that power. It's okay. I know you can do it. Stuck. We're counting on you. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? <laughs>